Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing one of my most requested videos, how I take notes on my iPad. This is the most requested video. Every single time I say anything, people are like, how do you take notes on your iPad? So here's how I take notes on my iPad. By the way, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit that button down below, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a $100 Target gift card giveaway. I'd love for you to join the fam. Welcome here. Stick around. I take notes on my iPad for school. I also do my to-do list on here. Everything that I could use paper for, I pretty much use my iPad. IPad, so I wanted to show you guys the way that I take notes on here. I always get questions on what iPad I have. I literally have the cheapest iPad that Apple offers that is compatible with the Apple Pencil. I have the first generation Apple Pencil. I will link everything down below. I'll link the iPad, the pencil, all the cases down below if you guys want to get them and then the app that I use. Let me just show you how I take notes. The app that I use is called Notability. I swear this video is not sponsored. I just seriously love this app so much. Good Notes is also another option, but I personally love Notability. First thing we want to do is set up our notes. The great thing about Notability is you can be super organized with it. You can make multiple folders and then you can make multiple folders inside the folders and inside those inside folders, you can have multiple different notes. I use this app for a ton of things. So I have a school section and in my school section, I have all my classes that I need to take notes for. Let's start by setting this up. So you're going to go to the little guy in the right hand corner and this is going to create a new notes for you. What's really great about this is it's super customizable so you can have different colors for your pages or different lines or boxes or dots or it's just really customizable so you can do however you like to do it. For me, I normally go between the white and the kind of cream and then these are the two line depths that I kind of go in between as well. I use the thicker lines for my to-do list and then I use the thinner lines for my notes for school. Next thing you want to set up is your pens. There's a ton of different colors. You can actually customize your own colors. There's also options to make your pens thicker or thinner. I like when my pens are all the same thickness because I feel like it makes my handwriting look a little bit better, but there are other options if you don't want that as well. If there's a certain pen or highlighter or eraser that you really like, you can add it to your favorites and you can move your favorites around, which is super great. These are the specs for the pen that I like to use while I write notes. I find that it is my favorite. You can also label your notes, which helps keep you very organized. Now we're finally getting on into actually writing the notes. I always like to start off my notes with a heading and I always make it a little bit thicker and bigger than the rest of the notes so it stands out to me. One thing that I really utilize while writing notes is the highlighters that the iPad offers. I use highlighters to highlight vocab terms, important people, important dates, important concepts. I highlight so many things. I also love that the highlighters will snap into place so it will make it super straight which is very aesthetically pleasing. I also like to have my highlight colors correspond with certain things so yellow could be vocab, purple could be important events or dates. I just keep a mental note of it. You don't have to write it down but it keeps me very organized. If I'm going back in my notes, I always know what I'm looking for with these highlight colors. Another thing that I will use highlighters for is formula. So I will write the formula down in my regular pen color and then highlight it with different colors. And then I will go into the pens and do the corresponding pen color to the highlight colors and define the terms. And a lot of times I will put boxes or circles or something around it just to get my attention because most of the time these formulas are really important for my classes. This is another way that I might use colorful pens. I might circle or box or square something to get my attention towards it a lot of the times it's like in a sequence like this a little life hack making little arrows like this is the best thing ever you can also duplicate them to make them exactly even which is very aesthetically pleasing the best tool ever is the scissors you can move things around make them bigger make them smaller if you're a perfectionist like me you'll probably be using it a lot I also love how you can underline things and it will straighten out the line it's just the little details that go a long way everyone formats their notes differently so do whatever works for you what I like to do is these little indents here as you can see it kind of goes more and more to the right as there's more information what I like to do is more to the left is terms ideas and concept kind of like the big things that you need to pay attention to and more to the right is things more about them so it could be like definitions details extra things that add to those terms so if I'm looking for something I always look to the left I love the eraser tool because you can erase everything in one little swipe which is really great or you can choose the partial option it would erase a little part of it like a regular eraser would there's also the undo option which I use often <laughs> Something that I recently found out about is the record option. So you can record your professor talking during their lectures if you're in person. You can also play it back in different speeds. So you can play it back really fast if you don't have a ton of time. And something that's really great is you can merge your recordings. One thing that I also really love is there's the voice boost. So if your professor is really far away or really close, you can adjust the sound quality. This is where you can find all your pages. So every single time you start a new page, a blank one right behind it adds. You can also flag your pages so you can save them from behind. This plus 
plus sign is really cool because there's a ton of things that you can do you can add a bunch of documents you can add sticky notes you can add a web clip or like a web page kind of I will use the sticky notes as a little reminder for homework because they really grab my attention when they're on the page now I'm gonna show you guys how I make my study guides and this is really where I feel like the iPad really thrives. So what I like to do is I like to go on to either like a lecture video or a video that my professors give me online and I will screenshot it and I will airdrop it to my iPad from my laptop and then I will insert it onto my iPad. Now this is super great. This is what I did for my data analytics class and this made the best study guide ever. I take those screenshots and I take them from my iPad camera roll and insert them into my notes and then I will put them onto my notes and I make a whole study guide. One thing that I really like to do is to write on top of them. So sometimes I will highlight certain things. Sometimes I will write certain things. It really will draw my attention to whatever I need to know. And for classes like this where you're doing motion, so I'm teaching myself like how to do certain things on Excel or JMP Pro or Tableau. So that is what I really like doing for this. And I do step-by-step -step examples of how I do it. This is my actual study guide for my data analytics class for one of our tests. It's a super long study guide but it seriously is such great information so I took all the screenshots from a video that I had from my professor who basically like showed step by step on how to do these things on Excel and all these other programs and I screenshot them put them in here and then I wrote down and highlighted all of this stuff I honestly do not remember anything that I learned from this class I could not explain this to you if I tried but to me when I was making this in my head the highlighters corresponded with a certain thing and the words meant something I don't know I just showed every single step on how to do it and it was super helpful this is seriously the best thing ever. What's also really great about this is you can save it as a PDF or any other format. So I wanted to share this with my friends because like low-key I wanted to flex that I made this amazing study guide but I also wanted them to benefit from this study guide so I saved it as a PDF and sent it to my friends through text. So I don't have these but Notability also has these other great add-ons that you can do. One thing that I think is really cool is handwriting recognition. So you can write something and then it will figure out what word you're saying so you can type it into like the little search bar in your notes so you can be able to find exactly what notes you're looking for really easy. This is an example of actual notes that I took in my class. So one thing that I like to do is I put everything onto one document. I don't use different notes for different chapters. You can definitely do that. As you can see, I just did it all in one. I think it's just easier that way. But if you like to have it more separate and organized, this is me planning out a thumbnail when I was boarding class. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys other ways that I use my iPad that aren't taking notes. One thing that I like to do is make my to-do list. I am obsessed with to-do lists when I have a day that is super busy. I like to write down every single thing that is going on throughout the day and it really helps me stay organized and productive. I'm also really particular about the boxes so the duplicate tool is amazing for this just to make sure they're all perfect and even. Another thing that I really love is that you can move around all of your tasks for the day so I like to do it in the exact order of what I'm going to do so if something gets moved around I can move it on my to-do list so it just helps me go down the list and it's amazing and it's seriously one of my favorite things that I do on my iPad. I hope this video was super helpful. If you have an iPad, definitely recommend getting a cheap one. That's all I'm gonna say. But if you guys do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram. And if you guys have any note-taking tips on your iPad or just in general, feel free to leave them down below. I'm always wanting to know something new. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!